Hi and good morning. Today I'm going to be trying Rare Beauty Selena Gomez Beauty line for the very first time. I ran to Sephora yesterday and got as much as I could because the line is getting crazily sold out. And I got the things that I definitely really, really wanted. A couple of things that I couldn't get my hands on. One of them was the under eye, I think it's the Radiance Serum, if I'm saying this right. The Positive Light Under Eye Brightener. I couldn't get my hands on that one in the shade that is the right tone for me. I need light. The next tone is like light medium and it has a little bit of a more warm tone and I need the other tone that's a little bit more cooler but I'm going to find that eventually and definitely purchase it because it has this beautiful consistency of a serum brightener that I really love. So I was able to pick up these four products and I'm pretty excited about using them and trying them for the first time. I went into Sephora and put them all over my hands as testers to see which colors were the best for me and they just were so impressive. Some of the eye and the lip products obviously I'm always like excited about that for sure. The first thing I purchased was the Stay Vulnerable Liquid Eyeshadow. It's in the tone Nearly Rose. I was really going back and forth between the neutral and the Nearly Rose tone. I liked them both so much so I couldn't really decide but in the end I decided to go with the rose and if I like it a lot I'll think about getting the neutral. So I like that it comes out pretty clean. It's not messy everywhere for the first try. I've seen a few people having it splatter all over the place. For me it did not splatter and it actually looks like a lip product, but I love liquid eye products, so I'm pretty excited about applying this. It looks like something I really want to put on my lips. The first thing I'm noticing is how spreadable it is. It's not pilling up and it's not getting stuck where I'm spreading it. I'm just using my finger. I put two little dots on the end of my eye and just spreading that on my lid. I like how easy that was to apply, and I don't have a base on my eyelid. It's just, it's just bare. Yeah, this is spreading out really nicely. I really love like to test this with using a brush. I'm not sure if they'll look uneven or if it was spread as nicely, but let's see what happens. That spread so nicely and evenly with the brush and I'm not used to that with the liquid eyeshadows that I have in my collection. I tend to have to use my finger and go really quickly or it gets a bit glumpy and, and I'm not able to go over it again, especially with any type of brush or it starts to peel off. So this actually is like, like a watercolor wash and I really like that. So let's see what happens if I do a second layer. I did three little dots this time. That spread really nice the second time, which again, with most of my liquid eye products, it doesn't really spread that well. I, I'm used to going really fast, really quick. I have a technique, I'm like boom, boom, boom. But this spread so nice the second layer. I love using it with this Real Techniques brush. It's a little bit shorter. I was afraid to use a big fluffy brush. I didn't want to tempt it with that, but the shorter one, it's worked really nice with. It's like a watercolor wash and I love that. I think you can do a couple dots and spread it with your finger or quickly spread it with a brush and go and have a nice look on your lid. Now I'm going to move on to the eyeliner. I picked up the Perfect Strokes Eyeliner Liquid Matte. This is in black. Ooh, I love the idea that it is matte. I love liquid eyeliners. I love a cat eye. I try to draw one a lot. Sometimes I just mess it up and I'm like, bummer. So I'm pretty excited about trying this one. First impression is I love the handle itself. It has a little bit of a divot right here so you can hold it really nicely and not have it slip out of your hands. The consistency of the actual product itself is really inky and it's strong and I was able to go over it a couple times and it didn't start peeling up or drying out too quickly. So that was really nice. I think I'm gonna need to practice a few more times to get the lines right. I haven't been doing my cat eye in a while, but I think this is a really great product because you can go over it more than once and it won't start peeling or flaking and you have a little bit more time to get the perfected cat eye. The next product I have is the Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing Mascara in the shade Black. I got the mini version because I have a lot of mascaras to go through and I wanted to just try it out first before I committed to the larger version. I like the brush, not a heavy smell, which I really prefer. I don't want a scented mascara, which some mascaras have a really strong scent to them.
first impression is I like the brush. It is nice and fluffy. I don't want a thin brush. It has a lot of bristles. It is able to go through my lashes really nicely and shape them. I didn't feel the need to run through it with a secondary comb or anything like that. So I do like it. It's a nice gentle formula. It doesn't have a strong odor and the pigment is so black it matches the eyeliner really nicely. So I think the two together are a great combo. Next I have the Lip Souffle Matte Lip Cream. I got the shade Confident. This was tough to know which shade to get. The, the shade range is so beautiful. I sampled so many of them on my hands. It was like a big old mess, but I felt like Confident matched the eye color really well. So we'll find out when I apply it. I didn't get an, a lip liner. I'm just going to use a basic lip liner that I have. It's in the shade Girl Next Door from Essence. So I'm gonna apply that first just really lightly. I like the packaging on this. It's matte, it's like really simple. And it didn't go flying everywhere, which I was a little bit nervous of because a lot of these products are messy around the top here. I have a lot of lip, liquid lip products. So far, no mess. It looks pretty clean. This is really different than any lip product I've had so far. What is this again? Lip souffle, matte lip cream. It is a souffle matte lip cream. <laughs> it literally feels like a souffle on my lips, but matted and a cream. This feels nice. Okay, I really like this. I definitely want to get a few more of these colors. The color is really nice. It does actually match the eye shade, so um, that was a win. One thing I'm really interested in finding out is how long it will last throughout the day. It's early morning right now, so hmm, will this last all day and will I be able to reapply? That's something I definitely want to follow up on later, but this feels so nice. This is very different. If you get one product from her line, I recommend trying one of the lip products. Very different. I don't think there's anything comparable that I've tried before. The eye color itself was like applying watercolors. It's beautiful and I love that I could layer it. I think I could keep layering it if I wanted to, but I'm okay with the color right now and it's perfect for a day color. I'm pretty excited about that. So here's the look I'm going with. It's I think it's a perfect day look. I don't usually add a lot of blush, so I didn't purchase any of the blushes. Plus, it was really hard to find a shade. They were gone. There was one blush left. The products are really selling out. So I'm going to go back to a different Sephora and get the eye and lip product in the neutral tones that I fell in love with for the eye and a lip product. I'll, I'll find any one. They were so beautiful. The mascara was fine and the eyeliner was really great. Really intense eyeliner. And I have to get that under eye serum concealer that I was like in love with. I have to find it somewhere. It's in the shade light. I need that one. I already was in love with it just sampling it on my hands. So this was a success. I love these products and I'll update probably on a short how they lasted throughout the day. Hi, it's a few hours later and I did want to do an update right away because I'm actually really impressed at how long the makeup has lasted and how well it's stayed on. The eye look looks exactly the same and it's well past lunchtime. I went out and it's like rainy outside and wet and it stayed on my lids really nicely. It hasn't creased. The mascara is not waterproof, but it hasn't smudged and it's really damp outside right now and I have really super oily skin and usually mascara does like a, a bit of a tone under here after a little while and it hasn't. It stayed on really nicely. The lip look I ate and it's not a stain, but it stayed a really nice color and didn't flake off. So I was able to reapply mid afternoon and it stayed on pretty nicely. So I'm really impressed with this makeup. I'm really happy I tried it and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing a few more of the products.